What's up friends, welcome to a brand new video. Today we are talking about one of the biggest topics in filmmaking. We are talking about color grading and how I develop a look which comes from a super flat S-Log3 to something like this. Well, I know color grading can be a bit confusing because it's such a big topic, but I will walk you through my whole process in three steps. If you want to try it yourself and follow along the tutorial, you can download the original footage, the raw footage we are color grading right now. Link is in the description. Also make sure you have installed adjustment layers. If not, there is a link to a free adjustment layer down in the description as well. Now let's start with step number one, which is exposure and contrast. The footage we are using here is of course shot in S-Log3, so it's a really flat picture we have here. First we use an adjustment layer and lay it over the footage we are about to grade. Then we open up the color inspector of the adjustment layer by clicking on the little triangle here. I used to work with color wheels, but you can choose whatever you like here. By pressing command 7, we are opening up the Luma scope. The scope is pretty easy to understand. The bottom line at zero is black and the 100 line is white. We want to stay between those lines. If you cross the zero line, you will start to lose details in the shadows. So we start to add contrast to our image by pulling up the highlights on the right side of the highlight wheel. The higher you push the highlights, the more the graph in the scope moves towards the 100 mark. So I always push them to the clipping line, which is shown as a clean cut and bring them back down just a little bit so nothing is clipping. And now we are using the shadows to bring them down right before they are clipping as well. Now when I switch this on and off, you can clearly see we added a lot of contrast and the image looks way better. For my taste, the image could be a little bit brighter, so I use the mid-tone slider and bring it a little bit up. Now, of course, you could ask Eric, why do you shot in such a flat profile? Because when you shot without picture profiles, you don't have to do this because it comes with a natural contrast. And of course, you are absolutely right, but when you shoot in flat picture profiles like S-Log3, you keep as much details as possible in the shot and you have the biggest dynamic range the camera could produce. Let's go to step number two, which is color correcting. Now those flat picture profiles also come with a lack of saturation. Depending on your picture profile, you can now increase the saturation by pushing the saturation slider on the left upwards. You could do that on the master for the whole image or separately for the highlights, mids and shadows. I prefer it separately and push a little on the highlights, a little bit more on the shadows and I leave the midtones where they are. Now switching that on and off makes you realize we come a long way. Now let's go to step number three, which is styling your color grade. Now if you guys are lazy, you can now search for a LUT and throw that on top of your footage. By the way guys, I have a brand new LUT pack out there, which is of course absolutely for free. Link in the description. If you like it, check it out. Now you could go ahead and color grade your pictures with the tools Final Cut Pro has to offer, but I highly recommend to check out Color Finale. This will give you more options and better controls over the color. If you guys are interested in Color Finale, an affiliate link is down in the description as well. So I throw Color Finale Pro on top of the adjustment layers and start with the curves. To create a faded look, I set a point on the Luma curve down in the shadows and then I pull the shadows up away from the black. To bring the rest of the curve back, I create a point in the highlights and lift them a little bit up. As you can see, this adds a little bit of contrast as well and creates a super nice faded shadows look. To play with the colors, I like to use the six vectors. And here we can control the hue, saturation and luminance of each color. So I start with the yellows, I push them a little bit towards the orange and take away a bit of saturation. Push the purples into the reds, we take the teal and pushing them towards the green and bring the saturation down as well. We do the same for the blue. 
And now we take the greens and pushing them into teal as well, which gives us this pretty trendy teal and orange faded look. And when you switch that on and off, you can clearly see what we have done so far. Now, as I said before, my name is Eric. I do Final Cut Pro tutorials like this one and I have a lot of free plugins. So check out all my other videos. If you guys haven't already, smash the sub button and follow me on Instagram, lifted underline Eric. Well, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.